how you doing today? <laughs> Did you see my last video end so abruptly? I'm putting my seasonings away. So far, everything I'm cooking is tasting amazing. I am a good cook. I'm not a chef, but I'm a good cook. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to keep in the video. Hi there. And I'm going to be ending this live before you before you know it. Hi. Hi Nazmi. How are you? I was ready to make my sweet potato pies. But my butter was in the freezer. So I'm trying to let it get some room temperature on it. Why it was in the freezer, I don't know. I gotta make cakes too. I'll leave these out. Even that piece of beef made me hungry. Might have to get another piece. <sighs> made me hungrier. But they say more hungry.
Just wanted to get me another little taste. The flavor on it is delicious. I could clean. Thank you. You like my hair today? I appreciate it. Nazi, what you can do is go do some volunteer work. You won't be alone. Go volunteer to shelter. Go volunteer to hospital. Go volunteer at a soup kitchen. There are a lot of things you can do to avoid being alone. And then there will be people who you will connect with it right around where you are that you can hug, you can touch, you can build relationships with. I appreciate that you feel like I'm your mother, but how, how can I serve you? Or how can you serve me? We can pray for one another. But as your mother, I would tell you, go do something for someone else. Go to a shelter. People, see who you can help today. And it will help you. I'm cooking a lot of stuff. I'm cooking a turkey. I didn't put that on yet. I'll do that midnight or something like that. I already cooked the pork shoulder, a spiral ham. I didn't know it was a spiral ham when I purchased it. I didn't have my glasses on it and I didn't read the label. Uh, but I bought a spiral ham. This is my first time. I think maybe in many, many years buying a spiral ham. And I, did, I think I dried it out. Um, when I bought it before, so I never bought it again. But this says only cook it for two hours on 350. So I'm going. And I'm going to put some glaze on it when it's done. I'm also making some beef, which is so. Mm, I wish I could give you a bite. I would never give you my house address. Why would you even ask that? That's why I say you need to go find people around where you are so you can be a help to them. Because what do you want my address for? What was what is the purpose of that? My house is big for what purpose? So you could come live here? I can take care of man. I have three sons and they all live in their own place. My encourage. I always told my sons, I don't take care of grown men, so they require the work. If they went to if they went to school after high school, then they wouldn't have they wouldn't be required to work because they'd be in school. But the fact is, is that they entrepreneurs. You know. And they work. They have their own businesses and they do what they got to do to succeed. Okay, so as my son nods me, I'm going to tell you as a mother, if you don't want to listen to that, then that's your choice. I don't even know what 2,500E equal to. Get a second job. If you don't have children and things of that nature, then you have time. To be able to work a couple of places or create some work for yourself. Create some work for yourself. So as your mother nods me, I tell you, go find the nearest hospital. See how you can volunteer. If they won't let you volunteer, it takes too long to volunteer. Go to a shelter and say, how can I help? You'll be able to eat there because you're helping also. Or go to a church in your neighborhood. What can you do in your neighborhood? Go to the, to the church. Yeah, it's a whole lot you can do. You can find a mother close to you. 
and that's somebody who you can be in touch with. Maybe there's a woman who's a little older who needs someone around to help her. Find that person around you. Find that person. Because I don't know what you wanting me to be your mother means. Okay. How are you? I appreciate y'all coming in. I like the juice on my beef. It's good. I gotta get mine. Sorry, I'm on live too. <laughs> so I'm trying to do a couple of things at one time. <laughs> I couldn't like start cooking my sweet potato pies and putting because my butter is like not room temperature. And I want it to be. Gotta find my blender. I haven't used it in so long. Where is it? Ooh, it's hot in here. I gotta turn my temperature down. always buying brown sugar. Did you see my blender? Do you know where I put my blender? <laughs> I don't remember. I found it.
Can somebody make a blender? That allows you to open it up. I'm going to put these by the stove so I can kind of help them get to their little moist point. If you want to ask me something that I love, I love the pots that I bought. Bought them many years ago, and I love them. They create some of the best dishes.
This looks absolutely delicious. Look at it. Look at this delicious looking dish. Mm. Tastes exactly the way I want it to. So I'm going to turn it off. Ah! Huh. It tastes exactly the, the way I want it to. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good cut. Come on. Of that delicious juice. I wanted some of this juice. So good. The gravy. Mm. I promise you, you wish you was having some of this. I promise you would enjoy this bite. I'm going to pop it in the oven. Hopefully it sit down here. Without me having changed the racks, I gotta change the racks. Oh, let me have to change one rack. Okay, good. Fantabulous. One more hour, I'm going to take my ham out. My turkey necks are cooking. So I'm going to let them continue. No. I'm single, Mr. Ribbon. Hi, Anson. Seven ten. Hello, Kenny. Oh my God. I could eat this all day. But if I don't stop eating it, nobody else will get a chance to taste it. <laughs> Nobody else. I spent sixty dollars for that meat, and every it's worth every dime. What's your husband? 
red wine. I don't have any wine. I'm gonna have to sit down because my legs are tired. struggling. So satisfied eating that. I'm going to cut this video off and I'm going to start another one. Hope you have a fantabulous day because I am. <laughs>